हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज़ परनीत एंड यू आर वाचिंग टेक बिहाइंड फूड सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट रियोलॉजी ऑफ फूड्स रियोलॉजी ऑफ फूड प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन द फूड प्रोसेसिंग रियोलॉजी डील्स विद द डीफॉर्मेशन टेकिंग प्लेस इन द लिक्विड पेस्टी फूड्स वन प्रेशर इज अप्लाइड ऑन द फूड मटीरियल इट कुड बी फ्लो ऑफ फ्रूट जूस और मिल्क थ्रू पाइप्स और फ्लो ऑफ विस्कस फ्लूड्स लाइक कॉर्न सिरप इन कन्फेक्शनरी एंड खोआ मेकिंग इन डेयरी इंडस्ट्री सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द वॉट इज स्ट्रेस एंड स्ट्रेन ओके सो नो वेन स्ट्रेस इज अप्लाइड टू एनी फ्लूड इंक्लूडिंग फूड मटीरियल दे आर डेवलप्स अ स्ट्रेन इन द मटीरियल विच कॉज द डिफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द मटीरियल so the stress which has units of pressure and is the force acting on unit area is known as shear stress and the strain developed in the body is known as shear strain so the rheology is the study of relationship of shear stress and shear strain now next is the viscosity viscosity is defined as resistance to flow of fluid for example if a fluid is held in between two parallel plates the fluid may be consisting of series of parallel layers the fluid is initially in stable position let us apply a force f actually along the upper plate cd the plate cd moves forward let the plate cd moves with velocity u as the plate cd moves with velocity u the layer of fluid adhering to it will also move with velocity u the next layer which is below it is dragged by the upper fluid but its velocity is less than u and this trend continues up to the bottom most layer which is stand and is adhering to the bottom plate ab which is stationary thus the velocity of different layers varies between u and 0 and the velocity profile along with the thickness y can be represented by ac dash the velocity profile or gradient occurred because of resistance for flow that is there in between the layers The resistance for flow is known as viscosity. If the force F1 applied to the plate CD is more, it would move the layers faster, creating a different velocity gradient AC double dash. Thus, more is F, more is the velocity gradient. In other words, we can say that du upon dy is proportional to F. Pressure acting on plate CD, we call the pressure as stress or more systematically shear stress tau. the velocity gradient du upon dy is also known as strain created in the body of fluid this strain is known as shear strain or shear rate if proportionality is removed we can write as tau is equal to mu minus du upon dy mu is the coefficient of viscosity the negative sign indicates that as the distance y increases the velocity u decreases which shows a proportionality relationship between tau and du upon dy is known as newton's law of viscosity newton's law of viscosity can be represented graphically by plotting a graph between shear stress tau on y axis and shear strain du upon dy on x axis it result in the formation of straight line passing through the origin so all the fluids that obey newton's law of viscosity and show a linear relationship between shear stress and shear strain is known as newtonian fluids fluids like water milk honey coconut oil crystal etc all are newtonian fluids let's move to the non newtonian fluids all fluids which do not obey newton's law of viscosity are known as non newtonian fluids for such fluids the plot of tau versus gamma is not a straight line passing through the origin this straight line is for the newtonian fluid this curve which is concave in shape and it represent a class of non newtonian fluid known as dilatant fluids fluids such as solution of corn flour sugar starch are some of the example of dilatant fluids similarly the curve which is convex shape represent pseudo plastic fluids Most of the biological fluids like starch suspensions cellulose acetate solution are some of the example of pseudoplastic fluids
there are some other types of fluids which behave like newtonian fluids showing a linear relationship between shear stress and shear rate but they are displaced from the origin they start flowing only after exceeding certain initial stress or known as threshold stress and are represented by straight line and this type of fluids are called bingham plastics there are yet another type of fluids represented by convex shaped curve such type of fluids are called caisson plastics tomato sauce orange juice are also show caisson plastic behavior so we have discussed about non newtonian fluids which does not depend upon time so they are time independent there are certain type of non newtonian fluids which are time dependent so when stress is applied they develops a shear strain which follows a certain path but when the stress is released they do not come back in the same path they can be further subdivided as thixotropic and rheopactic fluids for thixotropic materials viscosity decreases as time increases at a constant shear rate for example paraffin oil paste cream and gels for rheopactic fluids viscosity increases as the time increases at constant shear rate hope you have enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe and press the bell icon thanks for watching